On the 21st of November, Katie was taken poorly with severe stomach pains. Um, we thought she had a 24-hour bug, so just put her to bed, as you do. I was still poorly the next day, but my stomach was really hurting. Went to the doctors and then continued going to the doctors. After sort of every day at the doctors, on the Saturday, they took her into hospital um, with severe abdominal pains, dehydration. Um, so they'd do an emergency scan. Um, and get to the bottom of, of her pains. Got discharged on Monday with like a high temperature. Um, and then two weeks later, I got readmitted. Saw lots of different doctors, lots of different di diagnosis. So on one day, we actually saw 10 doctors, um, which we didn't feel was very acceptable. They did a CT scan, which they found that she'd had a burst appendix, which was notably missed. Um, she had peritonitis septicemia. Um, I just wanted the pain to be gone. Um, I had enough of suffering, had lots of different diagnoses. I just wanted to know what was wrong. Katie had the ultrasound scan in which they drained the abscess um, um, and then subsequently went on to have an appendiotomy, uh, which should have been a simple 20-minute operation. Um, they went in by keyhole and then they found her to, um, the appendix had wrapped itself round her right fallopian tube and seriously damaged her fallopian tube in her ovary. Well, ever since I've been little, I've always wanted to, a family and children. Um, that was the thing that most upset me the most was the damage to my ovary because the percentage of me conceiving naturally now is qu quite um, low. As a mum, um, to see my daughter go through this horrendous pain and suffering, and she did, um, I just felt it was about finding out why they went wrong. So I sought National Accidents Helpline um, for their help because we wanted answers. Um, my mum got in co contact with National Accident Helpline. Um, if mum hadn't I've got in contact, I don't think I would have pushed for it. Um, I'm glad she did because they were really helpful. They led us to a good solicitor and like anything that we needed, the solicitor would just give us the information. When I first approached National Accident Helpline, I went through a web chat. Um, I'd seen the advert on TV, uh, Googled it and thought, oh, web chat, I'll have a go. So I then spoke to an advisor through a chat, um, asked her, would I have a case? Um, and she said, yes, if you'd like to give us a ring um, and we'll speak to you. After I had spoken to the lady at National Accident Helpline, um, a solicitor contacted us during the week and uh, we had to give her a summary, a chronology of what had happened to Katie, um, which I sent over by email. Um, and then we got a letter back saying that they were happy to take on the case, um, uh, and which they did. We had to take Katie to go and see doctors um, for a second opinions. They admitted liability within the first month of, of instigating a solicitor to represent her. When the claim finally settled, just before it settled, we got a letter of apology from the hospital. Um, that had a great impact because obviously they'd no noticed where they'd gone wrong and hopefully it won't happen to anyone else. The impact on Katie's life has been horrendous. The last three years she's really suffered severely with abdominal pains. It's only really the last three months that I can honestly say that Katie's life has improved. Katie was awarded a sum of money for the future. Um, considering that the damage to her ovary and her fallopian tube may warrant her having IVF. Um, so hence the money is in the bank and it's not going to be spent until a time comes when she feels she needs to use it. Our solicitors that were recommended by National Accident Helpline were absolutely fantastic. They supported us all the way down the line on this, um, even to a meeting and a coffee with the solicitor afterwards. Fantastic. Um, National Accident Helpline were very helpful and they were always professional in the way they spoke to us. They were always sympathetic and we definitely recommend them um, just because they helped us. I feel that Katie possibly has achieved out of it is a sense of justice. I feel she was treated very badly, um, hence the compensation, which, like I said, doesn't make up for it, but hopefully will improve her life in, in years to come.